Oh, and now there's another sign. Let's read this one, Madame Odus. The First Nations Water Declaration in Ontario. I like that. It's now time to declare our PhD, our profound, honorable declaration. And that's what people of Ontario are doing right now. Let's see what it says. The first people, first nation of this land, are placed here on Churchill Island, otherwise known as North America, by the Creator. The First Nations have responsibility to their own territories that include lands and waters. I think that makes a lot of sense. We're supposed to protect the earth and love the water and the land. Don't you think so? As First Nations, the Creator gave us a specific way of life which included teaching on how to care for our mother, the earth. Water is the life-giving gift that our mother, the earth, provides for all of us. And is this true, the relationship that women have with our mother, earth, that they are the keepers of the special ceremonies needed to ensure waters are respected and that future generation, that's you and me, Future generations will continue to experience this gift. Water is really a gift. And we are the gifted one because water is fully flowing in our body. And we have to be sure that the earth, our mother, has clean flowing water in her body too. Don't you think so? Now, let's continue reading. The indigenous people of Churchill Island have kept alive the ceremonies given to our ancestors by the Creator, which are passed down through time in order for us to continue the way of life of the Creator has intended us to, and we need to respect, honor, and share the spirits of water in the ceremonies given to us by the Creator. First Nations have a direct relationship with all the waters, including the rainwaters, the waterfalls, the mountain springs, the swamp springs, the bedrock water veins, the rivers, and the creeks and the lakes and the ocean and the icebergs and all of the ocean to ensure that the water provides for all living things on a daily basis. The First Nation in Ontario have the laws and the protocols to ensure clean waters for all living things. The First Nation have knowledge and laws and our own ways to teach the children about the relationship to water. Oh, the First Nations in Ontario made treaties with the non-Indigenous people based on the continuation of all life. And also, the First Nations in Ontario Treaty, making the Crown created a relationship of rights for all parties. And the First Nations in Ontario Treaty relationships make certain that our internationally protected right to give our free and fully informed consent on all issues related to use and care of waters as our right and were not given over with the making of treaties. The First Nation in Ontario's fundamental water right is a relationship based on an expression of a power relationship between ourselves and the Creator. And the First Nations have rights to determine the key properties of water including the distribution, the contents, the legitimacy of water rights to restore the balance. Including the First Nations in Ontario have reviewed the state of the waters within each of our territories. The First Nations in Ontario have seen the need to retain, declare and assert our relationship with waters to ensure that there are clean waters for the future generation. Oh, I love this declaration. I would like to make the same. 
The First Nation people in Ontario have met in Garden River First Nation territory to raise their voices in solidarity to speak for the waters. Oh, I honor these courageous people. I think we should all be sitting here with them and holding the space to protect the water of our Mother Earth. We announce, oh, we announce and proclaim our role as holders of rights. We announce and proclaim our roles as holders of rights and carriers of responsibilities to defend and ensure the protection, availability and purity of fresh waters and oceans. This is our responsibility to the future generations. For those children yet unborn is set out in this water declaration. Yoo-hoo! I love this! This is a water declaration from the Ontario People First Nation. Oh, now, let's go in. Oh, what a beautiful woman, isn't she? Oh, there's something written down here. Let's see what it says. Only after the last tree has been cut down. Only after the last river has been poisoned. Ooh. Only after the last fish has been caught. Only then will you find that money cannot be eaten. I think this is a universal truth. Don't you think so too?